Hi guys, Happy New Year and welcome back to What The Health. I know it's been a little while since I last made a video, I've moved home, so much has changed, it's unbelievable, but I am back. It's been two years since I launched What The Health and it, on this day, precisely this day, uh, so two years today and I'm back and I am so excited to be making videos for you once again. This channel started out of like pure love for health, fitness, well-being and I have that fire and that passion again. After a challenging and very busy year last year, I'm back and I'm going to be making a video for you every single Sunday. So if you are not already subscribed, then please do to not miss a video. Hopefully the YouTube algorithm is a little bit weird as we know, but if you subscribe, then hopefully you should see my videos. So there will be a new one every single Sunday. Woohoo! So it's that time of year again when people are looking to get a little bit healthier and it's a lot of people's sort of New Year's resolution or goal for the new year to improve their fitness, maybe lose weight and everyone has their own health and fitness goals. Now I'm saying this as though it's a worldwide truth and I know that not everybody has this resolution or this goal, however it's the kind of time of year when if you really want to sort of make a change, it's, the, it's a good starting point that people think of to make those positive changes to their health. Now, I'm going to just lay it all out there on the table. For the last few months, the last six months, really, my health and fitness has not been great. It's not been good. Um, I have totally fallen off the wagon um, health-wise, fitness-wise diet-wise, everything-wise, um, but that's that's fine because I am back on the case and what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm not going to be standing on my pedestal talking down saying this is what everyone should do and this is what I've done to get to this perfection level because guys I'm right there with you like I mean, you guys are probably all way fitter and healthier than I am right now. So I'm honestly just like, I'm not an expert. I'm not a professional. I'm just like a girl who wants to be fitter and healthier. So please don't think that I'm ever standing preaching. I'm like telling you about my journey and I'm with you on the journey. I'm not like, I don't think anybody is though. I honestly don't believe. And if anybody tries to portray that they are like, the peak of everything, then I just would take it all with a pinch of salt. So I'm just a normal person along on the ride, giving out some things, tips I learned along the way and just trying to muddle through it all as well. So how to get fit and healthy in 2017? Things to do and things not to do. So things that I'm doing, number one, well, I'm doing Veganuary, so I'm doing Vegan January. And for me, I know, having done it last year, that that is an amazing way for me to kickstart a healthy year because it means I'm eating loads of fruit, loads of veg, good, like, carbs, like, just good stuff. Like, lean protein in the form of things like tofu. I know that that is an amazing way for me to kickstart my health journey. So that's what I'm doing. I mean, obviously I know that not everyone's doing Veganuary and I know that a lot of people aren't even veggie. I think the key to whatever you're doing is to be mindful about what you're eating. Like we, like, ugh, come on, like we all know that if you eat a balanced meal with like some like veg, lean protein, whatever that might be, healthy protein, um, we know, like, come on, we know that that's like better than eating a pizza. I think it's just about like, we, we're all bombarded with so much information that you can sometimes feel like, I don't know where to begin. Like, just don't worry about all of the gubbins. Like, there's so much all around us. Like, just let it go. Be smart. Think, I know what I need to eat to be healthy. And I know what I need to have in moderation to still be happy. That's all that it, that's all it is. Like, and it's different for everybody. And if you want to go down a one particular route, say veganism, say vegetarianism, then you can sort of gather that little bit of extra information to, to figure out that lifestyle. But 
by and large, like, we know what's, what's healthy and what isn't, and what's healthy all the time, and what's healthy only in moderation, and et cetera, et cetera. Like, it's not rocket science, and I think sometimes if we make it into rocket science in our heads, that's when we get, like, so confused that we just, like, can't be bothered to even think about it, and we just go to McDonald's. So I think my, the main lesson from that is sort of forget all of the millions of things that are being bombarded into your brain about healthy eating, and just use your brain, use your noggin. That was a kind of a major thing all in one, that was like a do-do and don't-do situation. Um, one thing to not do is to let someone dictate your diet to a T if one, they're not trained or qualified or professional in any way, shape or form, and a lot of people on YouTube aren't. I would never ever claim to be professional or um, someone who should tell you exactly what to do. Like, every time I do a video, I'm just telling you, like, my experiences and things that are in my brain, um, and when I do, like, what I eat today or what I eat today videos, it's, I'm very clear that it's, that's one snapshot. It's not saying that this is what you should eat, I'm just saying that's what I ate on that one day or that week or whatever. Um, so, you need to find what's right for you. And that might not happen instantly either, it might be something that you find out along the way, but as long as you're healthy and balanced and happy and you know you're eating enough and you're eating the right kind of things to fuel your body, then sounds good to me. Fitness-wise, I am gonna be doing what I know works for me, which is Fitness Blender. They're a YouTube channel, if you haven't heard about them, wow, they're amazing. Check them out, fitnessblender.com and then they're Fitness Blender on YouTube as well. They they're everything. <laughs> I love them. Different things work for different people. Um, I think most people know which kind of fitness thing they enjoy, whether it's doing workouts at home, whether it's going to the gym, whether it's doing activities and things that aren't your usual kind of sort of fitness routine, and everyone knows what fits into their lifestyle. What I would say is like, try out a few different things and see what makes you feel like happiest and makes you feel like it will fit into your life best. Um, because everyone's different, everyone's lifestyle's different, and everyone will have different ways of like compartmentalizing the, the the fitness and workout section of your day or whatever into into your own mind. And that like getting that like thing in your brain is like it's so important because it makes you do it. So I know that if I don't work out in the morning, it won't happen. So I know that I've got to work out in the morning, and that's why I love Fitness Blender, I can do it at home. I just purchased their eight week programs, you don't have to, you can just follow their YouTube videos. But I know that if that's in my calendar, I'm, I will do it. Some people know that if they go to the gym after work, then they will, they'll smash it and they'll do it, and that's good for them. So it's just working out what fits in your lifestyle best. I do want to address one thing, and that is about weight on the scales. So I, in the past, have obsessed over scale numbers. I'm not obsessed. No, not obsessed. Maybe paid a little bit too much attention to it. I'm not gonna be doing that this year. Um, anywhere near to the level that I used to do. I used to weigh myself every single week. I think I'm gonna just weigh myself every now and again and just see how it's going. That, that, that's how I'm gonna look at it. It's just gonna be a, a, a little every now and again sort of marker and think, okay, well that's where that's going. That's all I'm gonna do because I don't wanna get into the routine of weighing myself every week because I just, it was just a bit too much like obsessiveness for me and I'm a very obsessive person anyway. So that's, I know that that's good for me but different things work for different people. It, whatever makes you happy, obviously as long as you're healthy, of course. Goal wise, I'm going to Vegas in April, the 1st of April and I want to feel awesome for then. And whatever that might be, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know whether, that's not a number on the scales, that's a, it's a feeling, it's a, it's knowing that I can go out and like walk around for the whole day doing things in Vegas without like feeling really tired about it. Or I can go do some exploring somewhere and, and just be like, yeah, let's go, woo, energy. Like that's what I want, I wanna feel like that. And I felt like that at my peak of fitness, which is when we went to Hong Kong in 2014. And I know that I wanna feel like that again. Um, if I, if I, I mean, naturally I will lose weight by doing more exercise and eating more healthily because I have not been doing either of those things. So yes, I will lose some weight and I have put some weight on and that's great. And I, you know, I'm looking forward to 
feeling like I'm at the ideal weight for myself but it's not the it's not the be all and end all goal I want to feel awesome so I think that's a good thing to keep in mind. I hope this has been good. I know it hasn't been like tip one, tip two, tip three, but I feel like I did that quite a lot on What The Health in the past. And I do want to make this channel more, less sort of formal in a sense, because I feel like I was, because I'm a presenter, I did feel like I was very much presenting my videos rather than just having a chat. And I, you know, I'm not like, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a professional, I'm just a girl. So I just want to have a chat to you. So. That's what I'm gonna do with what the hell. So if you guys have any video requests, any chats about veganism, veganuary, what I'm doing there, what I ate today, just chats about things that are happening in the health and fitness world, let me know what you want to see and I'll do my very best to facilitate that request. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year, happy 2017. Let's smash it guys, we can do it. I will see you next week, bye.